uh, this project has started not so not so long time ago. It's a quite new project, but developed so far so fast, uh, just like Rwandan economic development. And uh, well, you know, uh, uh, we are now uh, uh, supporting Rwandan uh, Rwandan people uh, to be a uh, well self reliant uh, engineer to make. Uh, satellite and launch in the orbit and make use of it. And you are uh, uh, aiming at the SDGs. And I think uh, the people of Tokyo University, University of Tokyo, has agreed, uh, was impressed uh, by your uh, 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 very far vision, very uh, uh, very uh, long-term vision, and they have decided to support. Uh, as, a, as I think uh, uh, it was already reported, five uh, Rwandan engineers are now under training. Uh, well, actually, three are in, uh, physically in Japan, uh, two are still in Rwanda, but they are getting uh, the uh, technology uh, through uh, internet. So anyway, uh, we have more and more uh, Rwandan engineers to be uh, trained by the University of Tokyo. Uh, according to my information, uh, they are going to uh, construct a, a Rwandan satellite. We call that uh, uh, Ruasat, Ruasat one, uh, Ruasat one, that will be completed by uh, May this year. So the, the satellite will be completed in May. Mm -hmm. Then that yeah. that must be be, be br bring to the International Space Station. Then should be an astronaut uh, should put into the orbit. So it will be, uh, some some months. It will take some months. But anyway, the uh, satellite itself will be completed in, uh, May. in May. Yes. Mm -hmm. With all anticipation and all uh, growing excitement, we would like to understand what, mm. what are the capabilities of this mm. satellite? What mm. is it able mm. to, to, to mm. bring about in, mm. in terms of data, yes. in terms of information? Yes. Yes. How yes. far can it stretch? Yes. I think the first uh, 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 job of this uh, uh, satellite might be remote sensing, uh, seeing from the space uh, the, the land of Rwanda and how is the, uh, the natural resources are allocated into the, uh, the country. And that will help people to, to explore uh, the natural resources, uh, the uh, very precious metals uh, in, your, in your land uh, that will be found very easily. On one, one hand, uh, uh, Ruasat-1 will be launched in a few months, but Ruasat-2, uh, this is a very uh, important uh, stage. Rwanda engineers, they take lead of this uh, assembling the uh, Rasat 2. that will be done in the country as well. Yeah, so yes, exactly, exactly. Now when you say Rasat 2, does that mean it's going to be a second satellite? Yes, okay. yes, second satellite, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is a uh, uh, first step, as I said, as I told, the, the purpose is uh, quite, quite at this moment, very, very simple. But second, third, fourth uh, uh, satellite will serve more and more uh, things for Rwanda. So uh, Rwanda uh, is, uh, well, I would say a very unique country. All this uh, do start everything. Uh, so yes, yes. And uh, I think the Tokyo University of Tokyo has uh, found this uniqueness of Rwanda. Uh, you are doing very new things for the first time. Uh, well, in the near future, uh, you, you are getting have more and more satellite. Uh, uh, above yourself. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Now, as, we as we conclude, um, what would you have to say? What would you have to make in a nutshell? Make of this this satellite project in, in terms of uh, Rwanda's development and IT development in general. Hmm. Uh, I, I think uh, this can support many many things. Uh, well, to to. Uh, promote the pro to, to increase the productivity of agriculture I think this technology can support and also the, there is some some lack of the internet uh, coverage uh, this can be covered by this satellite and there are so many many things which we, we cannot say so in one word but uh, in the in the in the in the process we are going to find another new areas where we can do together uh, using this satellite and I have a very uh, big hope uh, for the future of this project.